Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 25 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I decided to go to Six Eye Reef off camera after finishing part 24 and I dug up the treasure that was found through the chart, and it was a silver rupee. I also went back to Spectacle Island to uh, get that other chart that you get for beating the game a second time. Remember, you had to beat it the first time to get a hard piece, and the second time for a treasure chart. And it'll be treasure chart number 17 you win. Which leads you to Ice Ring Isle. Now rather than go to like those western tiles, why don't we check out this column over here. Because I believe around here you got a reef, then you got like a fairy island that you can't get to yet, and then you got another reef. Going north of here will lead to Rock Spire Island. And there's a lot of stuff you can actually get in this very place, which is very good. So why don't we go there first. In fact, a special shop is found found there, which can allow you to get a, a bottle, you can get a heart piece, and you can get a treasure chart, which also leads to yet another heart piece. So if anything, you should definitely go there whenever you have the money, because you're going to need a lot of money here. Okay, I spotted the fish right away, which is good, but I also spotted these warships. Now these, it'd be in your best interest to take them out. We're gonna find out why soon enough. Well, A, they're enemies, and B, they have very good stuff. So why don't we fish out this one first, then we'll fish out the other. I tried to leave the orb intact, because that way you can actually have a good landmark on where you're supposed to dig up after you take out a warship. But I guess if you left the warship in... If the... Left the, uh area alone and then came back to it later, you can probably still see a light ring. I have no idea, and I'd rather not take that to chance. The best way to take out the warships is just get very close to them. That way you have a much better shot. And they, and they tend to shoot pretty slowly, so you got lots of time. So we picked up a heart piece from the first warship. And this one, I believe, gives us rupees? It's probably rupees. But hey, a hundred rupees is nothing to sneeze at, that's for damn sure. You know what else would be a good idea? Let's get that fish right now. There's also some platforms over there that I would like to check out, but let me get the fish first, then I'll go to the platforms. And then I can probably use that other time to go to the island itself. Because there are some good things we can get on this island as well, now that we've got the bombs. The reason why I decided to, like, wait till later to come to this place is because A, I'm going to need lots of rupees, and B, I'm going to need lots of bombs. Well, you just need bombs, period. In the meantime, let's reveal this place on the map. Rockspire Isle. Kind of looks like something a woman would use when she's... never mind. Okay, it looks like a turd. I wonder how long it's been since the light in Windfall's lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way that rain of light shone out like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Jillian. Anyway, I bet if somebody could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse, it would light up again. Of course, that's just my intuition talking. Then again, you should never doubt a fish's intuition, small fry. Um... Any reason why? Or are you only saying that because you are a fish and you want to give yourself lots of credit? Okay, the platform is going to have to wait for now. I think I will go over to check out this boat. Now this is a special kind of shop, because like I said before, you can get a bottle, you can get a heart piece, and you can get a treasure chart. And ironically, that treasure chart leads to another heart piece. So by spending a lot of money, you'll get a bottle, and you'll get a total of two heart pieces, eventually, if you took the effort to actually uh, dig up where you're supposed to go. Oh, a fine welcome to you, young person that I've never seen before. You're so lucky to meet me at this time. This shop will close in just seven more days, and I'm having a clearance sale. That's a lie. 500 rupees? No problem. 950 rupees? Sure, why not? Let's pretend it's your birthday. Thank you. And this treasure chart, 900 rupees. 
So I just spent a metric ass ton of money in this one place. Now you think of like 1850, a total of 2,350 rupees. And he never has anything for sale again. And also that, that ship never closes in seven days. That's a lie. I'm guessing he took the watched the movie The Ring and took it seriously. Because that's the only explanation I have. It also might be a good idea to check out those uh, platforms over there. Because, I mean, they don't really have anything special. They just have rupees. But I might as well do it for the sake of doing it. So I'll meet you at the platforms. Okay, we made it to the three platforms, but unfortunately only one of them has a ladder. And it's the one in the middle. So that's right, you actually have to use the updrafts to get to the highest platform. Which, like I said, it only has rupees, but hey, a hundred rupees can go a long way, considering we spent over two grand worth in just one place. And later on in the game, you will be needing a lot of rupees. And even if you did, I mean, just to have a lot of that spending power is well worth it. So let me take care of these bokoblins over here. I don't need any more joy pennants, so I don't need to steal from them. Okay, was there any cannons on this platform? Doesn't look like it, actually. So I guess I can just fly over to this one. Okay, I'm facing east, so that's where I want the wind to go. And I'm going to need the Deku Leaf for this as well. Luckily, this one is easy to get to, and I don't need the updraft. I'm just hoping that if that platform has cannons, that they don't pick me off of the sky. Because that would be very frustrating to have to go back. So I'm just going to have to keep weaving around. Well, I guess you could use the updraft anyway. That was close. I just imagine when I went down too far. That would have sucked. Ha! <laughs> Knocked the dude off. Okay, good. Make sure I got lots of bombs. So I guess now I can finally take out this these here cannons. I'm guessing I didn't really have to go this way. But I could probably could have shot out the cannons with my ship. But I find this a more practical approach. Once I take out those cannons, then we can just... Oh, there was a chest over here. Of course. So eventually I did have to go this way. Depends on what's in the chest. Oh, a golden feather. Well, whatever. Just to show that it's there, I suppose. That wasn't really anything of special substance, considering I now have enough golden feathers to get that hard piece in Dragon Rustal. Anyway, but I'm not going to get it yet. I'm going to wait till later on in the game when I'm actually around the area. Then I'll go get it. It's still going to be there, like I said before many times. And it still holds true to this very day. Kind of thing, I kind of forgot to open that treasure chart that I just got earlier. So I might want to do that once I get on this platform. Alright, so the one I just obtained, even if you try to open Triforce Chart 5, you got to interpret it first. Oh, that's number 4. That looks like a fairy isle, and it's probably one I've already visited. Let me come back to that later. So now I want the wind to go in the opposite direction. There's still the risk of the cannons, though, unfortunately. And I'd hate to go to all this trouble only to fail. So I gotta time my jump just right. Just get caught in the updraft at all, that's good enough. Uh oh. Oh! No! Come back! Come back to me! I'll have to intercept it. It's going too low. I mistimed it. Shit! So yeah, you have to take out the enemies and the cannons to get on that platform over there. I'm not going to waste my time with it because it's just 100 rupees. Maybe I'll get it off camera. 
But you don't need to actually have me show you it, because I'm explaining it to you. I would have liked to get it on camera if I got it right on the first try, but the updraft went too fast for me. Only when I'm recording! <laughs> of course. Hey. Well, I guess I can just go to the actual island to feel better about myself in the grand scheme of things. To help me cope with that failure. Again, it's not like I tried to fail. I mean, I literally tried to get to the updraft, but it actually just cut away from me too early. I mistimed my jump, that's all. It's only going to be 100 rupees. I'm pretty sure I can make up with that and probably later on. Once I go looking around for more grass or more enemies or more pots. Okay, I can just, like, throw the bombs to take care of those rocks. Or I can just use the bombs from my cannon. If I get a good view. There we go. Let me shoot it again. Okay, that did take out a rock. That's good. Now, I want to get off around here. Because there's a dungeon I can go to. If I didn't take care of all the rocks, then I just have to throw them and time them properly. That'll work, too. But I find using the cannon is a little bit of an easier approach. Because at least you don't have to time it. You just got to aim it. If you take care of all these rocks, you can get to this cave over here. Oh, Link, you knew there was a cave there. It's kind of dark in here. So I gotta do something about that. How convenient! There's actually some sticks here. How about I light one up? So I can light up the other two. What can go wrong? Oh, my God. The keys are everywhere! No! Not the keys! They're in my eyes! Seriously. Well, at least they're very easy to kill. I mean, it's just one hit. They're dead. You can also get a lot of health. You can get a lot of rupees. You can get a lot of whatever. I was short on magic, so... And I walked around the bombs. I got that mess. So I'll try to snag whatever I can once I get a little bit of wiggle room. I guess the boomerang would be good for this, too. Oh, there's still one left. No? I gotta be missing another one. Oh, come to me. There, that's the last one. Now we should be able to get a treasure chest. I'm guessing there's a chart in here? Pos possibly. It is a chart. Okay. Alright, so where will that lead? I know one's at Ice Ring Isle. That much is established. Another one's at a fairy island that I probably visited. That I'll have to reiterate later on what exactly that one is. But I'll do that in my own time. Oh yeah, you can open the sea charts here. That's good. And this one is number 37. Okay, that looks like Fire Mountain. Let me reiterate that. It is. So I find the treasure for Ice Ring Isle, and I find the one in Fire Mountain. That's very ironic. Because both those places got very good treasure that I can't get to yet, but later on I will have the opportunity to do so. So with that in mind, why don't we just leave those places alone and continue going due north of here. I got the wind going the right way. Do I? Yes, I do. Good. Okay, that's Forsaken Fortress over there, obviously. It really sticks out. It's like, if islands were bowel movements, chances are God had diarrhea when Forsaken Fortress was made. Okay, we need to fill in a spot in the northwest tile. Okay. Arrgh! Oh, there we go. There's Forsaken Fortress. 
because just thinking about that bowel movement is very forsaken indeed. I don't know if that's a proper term, but it is now. Okay, I believe this place is called Mother and Child Isle. There's actually a place like that in Twilight Princess. Well, not Isle, but more like Rock. But either way, it's just like t one big island and one small island put together. The big one, however, we cannot access because it's too high. But there is a way to get in there, just not by sailing. I'm pretty sure that guy will already reiterate that. There we go. Man, Mama's huge. Not my mom. Okay, they say that inside the rock, ring of rock that makes up the perimeter of that island is a perfectly beautiful fairy. So yeah, there is a way to get there, and it involves the Ballad of Gales. Because there's actually a war point that will lead you right there. So why don't we go to the smaller island? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to check out. There's actually a merchant here. Also a Korok. But the Korok's gonna have to wait. Oh, we also have another unwanted guest. Not saying the Goron merchant over there is unwanted. Well, maybe the blue choo-choo is wanted, because I could afford to look for some more blue choo-choo jelly. I what's called a uh, yeah, I already talked to you. Don't worry, you're not gonna find anything in there. You wanna open yourself a shop? That's pretty good. I happen to have something that can help you in that. So why don't I give you the exotic flower? Huh? Why that's an exotic flower, right? In that case, would you be interested in trading that for this pinwheel? Okay. Your fee is... 55 rupees! Okay... Yeah, believe it or not, an exotic flower... is equal to the val value, or lesser to the value of... that. So we formed a merchant's oath, you're gonna find pinwheels over at Zunari's place now. Which actually makes things a little bit easier for us, because that helps with that little side quest as well. With that in mind, I think it's time to head due north again. Let me get the Wind Waker ready. So we're gonna go to the tile that's actually directly east of Forsaken Fortress. So we're filling in a lot more of this map. How many more tiles left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Wow! Very little left now. It's a matter of time before this map is completely filled! That's gonna make me a very happy panda. To finally get that godforsaken deed of filling in the map done. Not to mention I had to go to some treasures off camera and then show you what they were. Because there's really no point in actually doing that on camera if we already visited the areas. But areas we haven't visited yet, I have no qualms in actually going in there. Okay, there's a platform on this place too. Maybe I should actually just go for the platform first. Seeing as how there's only one platform. And the fish is on the western part of the- Oh dear god. Explosive barrels. I don't want to be anywhere near them. Oh, the cannons are firing, eh? So be it. I guess I can't be surprised that there actually are TNT barrels hanging around. I mean, we're near Forsaken Fortress after all. This is uncharted territory here. Well, it was uncharted for a period of time. We were there much earlier. Only this time we're act actually sailing there on our own boat. We were on a boat we were going away from the place because we were not ready. Another golden feather. I'm surprised they actually gave us another. You know, after a while, you should have to, like, uh, use the B button to skim through that dialogue. But the game doesn't let you. That's weird. It should only be like that for the first time you hear about it. Not like the, uh, 21st or 22nd. 
Now that's just overkill. Okay, I, that was already the treasure of the uh, platform. I took out the cannons. That was a bit of a waste of time, in my opinion. Okay, I want to face east. Okay, where's the uh, island? Oh, Jesus, I don't even know where it is now. Okay, there it is. And there's the fish. I temporarily lost track on where every single thing was. Then again, I think the uh, overlay of my hearts and my magic had a thing to do with it because it blocked out the corner. Well, the in-game HUD, rather. Okay, so I think this place is called Star Island. Well, more like a uh, hexagram star, but you know what I mean. I hear that somewhere on the wide world is a handy arrow that can freeze anything. With something like that, you could even freeze that nasty monster in the Forsaken Fortress. For a while, anyway. But then what would you do with a frozen monster, you say? Good question, Fry. Why, I'd say you give that thing a whack and watch it shatter into teeny tiny pieces. Well, we can't even go to that place yet. Well, technically we can, we just won't get the reward. Which, of course, is arrows that allow you to freeze things. Oops, let me get back to the charts. St oh, okay, here we go. This is the perfect spot. It is, good. I was so glad that it turned out to actually be the perfect spot and say, Oh, this is a perfect spot. Oh, you missed! Well, F you too, game. But I actually did that. 200 rupees! Making my way back up to below poverty, which is good. I mean, at this point in the game, if your max is 5,000, 345 rupees now is pretty damn poor. I mean, back then, it was a lot when your max was 1,000. But nowadays, it's just bad. Okay, there's a cave on this island as well. But there's also, like, a blue choo-choo. There's also mini blends that will assault you if you bomb the wrong rock. I believe that's pretty much it. Speaking of the mini blends. And they just come from everywhere! And all over a rock! Like, I've known people that get crazy over Dwayne the Rock Johnson, but this is completely different. So I'm guessing this is the, not the right rock either. It might just give me some rupees. Nope, it just gives me bombs. No, but there's one rupee over there. But I'll take it! Oh, what am I doing? Is this good? It is. So I'll check out this cave, and then I'm gonna stop the video and head for Forsaken Fortress. So I think that's enough progress for this video. Now for this, it's an enemy rush. So first I gotta take out some magtails. The parry attack is the best way to dispose of them. But if you didn't use the parry attack and they turn into like some kind of ball, you can just use bombs. Here we go, we take out the magtails. Now we gotta take out some bacoblins. So after you take out all the ways of enemies, you'll get the, the reward that's in here. Not to mention your own rewards just by killing the enemies. Speaking of which, huh, another joy pendant. I already got the joy, 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 joy down in my penis. Never mind! These becomings are also just as easy, and I think next is moblins. I thought so. Thank god I did this when I got the master sword. Otherwise, this would have taken much longer. Let's 
Stop blocking! Just accept your fate. Now give me the treasure. It is mine now. Okay, so far so good. We're snagging even more treasure. And it's another heart piece. So now my hearts are at 12 out of 20. Man, we're just going really fast and furious with all these heart pieces, all these treasure charts, etc., etc. It's going insane. But the good kind of insane, not the uh, need a straight jacket and call them every five minutes to make sure they haven't killed themselves sane. In insane, rather. So I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next part, I'm going to show you what treasures that we unearthed in the places I already visited, and we're finally going to return to the Forsaken Fortress. See ya, everybody.